Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so one day before i posted the unboxing TWRP flashing and routing video for the OnePlus 9RT so now it's time to flash the custom roms on this amazing device the awesome developer abino gupta has made available this first custom rom for 9RT called as pixel experience plus android 12l or also called as android 12.1 this is the unofficial build of pixel experience i am using the oxygen os 11.3 a7 version I am using the TWRP but for flashing this custom ROM you don't need the TWRP because this ROM is the fast boot flashable zip format. But I recommend you to keep the TWRP so you can take the backup of all the partitions like EFS, modem, super etc. If something goes wrong you can use that backup to restore the original Oxygen OS. Also before proceeding your device must be on unlock bootloader. You can check the right side card video there I shown how to unlock the bootloader and flash the TWRP on OnePlus 9RT. You can revert back to stock Oxygen OS at any time by using the fast boot flashable ROMs. I will create that video soon. So today in this video I will show you the flashing process, full testing of the ROM, what's working and what's not, stability and the performance test and the bugs. At last I will tell you my final verdict. Now without further ado, let's get started. So before proceeding you need the ADB and the fastboot drivers installed on your PC for that you can watch the bunch of the YouTube videos available. Now go to the about phone and under the version tab tap 8 times on the build number this will enable the developer mode. Now go back and under the additional setting in the developer option enable the USB debugging. I assume that you already unlock your bootloader so OEM tab will be grayed off. Now go to the security setting and remove all the pins and the passwords. First I will take the full TWRP in Android backup, this step is optional if you don't want to do this. First boot to the TWRP using any root application as I am using the rooted phone. But if you are not rooted then long press the volume down plus power button. In the TWRP tab backup check mark all the partition and slide the bottom bar. Once the backup completes you will find that under the SD card and inside the TWRP folder. Now connect phone to the PC and copy that folder and save it on the PC for the further use if anything goes wrong. Now from the TWRP reboot to the fastboot or you can use the volume up and down and the power button simultaneously to boot into the fastboot mode. It is also called as the bootloader mode. Now connect phone to the PC, download the pixel reference ROM zip file from the video description. Rename it to the simple one like here I renamed it to the pixel.zip. Open the CMD inside the folder where you place the pixel reference zip file. There type this command fastboot space w space update space pixel.zip and enter. Flashing will start automatically. Within flashing process, your device will boot to the fast boot D mode with the Pixel Experience recovery. Flashing process will take 10 to 15 minutes and finally, once it get completes, phone will reboot automatically. Finally, phone boots with the beautiful boot animation of Pixel Experience Plus. You will get the Pixel phone setup on the first boot up. After completing the setup, device will boot to the beautiful Pixel launcher screen. Now we will directly jump to the about phone to check what new we got in this new first custom ROM. This is Android 12.1 Aka 12L build with the beautiful Android 12 easter egg. We got the test of Android 12 before the OnePlus will give us Oxygen OS 12 update. Security patch is also updated to 5th April 2022. Our old Oxygen OS 11 is still on Mars security patch. ROM comes with the permissive kernel 5.4.86. This ROM is built on 4th May 2022. As this is the first custom ROM build for the OnePlus 9RT, I will check all the basic things are working properly or not. Wi-Fi is working with the 5 hours network with the Wi-Fi hotspots. Dual SIM network with the OLT are working properly. There is stable OLT network connection. Incoming and outgoing calls working properly with the clear sound in the calls. Bluetooth connections are also stable. I connected my Oppo Ecno M31 earphones. ROM also supports the SBC, ACC, APTX and LDAC codecs, but it will only available if your earphone supports this codex. Audio in the Bluetooth is very good. In case of the speaker audio, it's loud enough, but I felt audio in the video playback is somewhat lower as compared to the music playbacks. GPS location is working very good. It's enough fast to detect the location. I use the Google Maps and it's working good. ROM comes with the face unlock and it's very fast, under display fingerprint is also working and it's detecting and working fast enough. 
While unlocking, there will be no high brightness issue that I face in my Note 2 custom ROMs. ROM has the call recording feature and it's recording the audio in the calls. To access the recording, go to the call log and tap the call that you recorded. There you will get the call recording. You can share or delete this recording also. OnePlus Signature Alert Slider is working without the issue. 65 watt wrap charge is also working and charging speed is same as stock Oxygen OS. Pixel Phone's unlimited photo backup is working in the Google Photo application. Now let's see the camera application. ROM didn't have the Oxygen OS camera port, but there is a simple cam application. So I have given the stable Gcam built in the video description. It has the most of the things working, but in the high focus lights means the same condition while shooting this video. I got such shadows while taking the pictures and the videos. This will impact the quality of the pictures and the videos, but in the normal condition, we will not face such issues. Slow motion is causing the force close of the application, except this panorama mode, photo sphere mode, portrait shots working, but I didn't see the strong blur effect in the portrait shot as you can see in this picture. 4K video recording is limited to 30fps, flashlight is also working if you keep the flashlight setting on or on the auto mode. So the cam is working fine with the some flaws. So let's do some performance test with the Geekbench. Overall ROM is very smooth because it has the powerful processor. RAM management is very good, keeping the most of the application in the RAM. Before taking the test, I seen the thermal temperature of the device using an Android application and it's showing the 47 to 55 degrees Celsius. Battery temperature was at the 40 degrees Celsius. It's very surprising when I took the Geekbench test, I got very low score. For the single core, it seems okay with the score of 911, but multi-core score was very low, 2540, which is similar to my Nord 2 when it's on the stock ROM. I think this is because of the CPU and the device temperature which feels warmer every time. After the Geekbench, I tested the temperature, it slightly increased again maximum up to the 57 degrees Celsius for the CPU and for the battery it's 42 degrees Celsius. But the performance of the ROM is still very high, not a single lag or the glitch anywhere you will feel, even at the low refresh rates. Later I had done the OpenGL GPU driver test and there I got 4783, it's also not so good score, but it's ok. The main issue arises in the Asnax safety net check, as ROM has the permissive kernel, obviously safety net check got failed, so you may get issues to use the security apps like the banking. But you can root and bypass this issue. But one good news is that to avoid one test shown the ROM has the L1 security level so you can watch the Amazon Prime and the Netflix video at full HD resolution. Let's do the test for the all the sensors are working or not in the ROM like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope and the barometer. Only barometer is not working because our device didn't have this sensor. I also tested the ear proximity with the another application. It's working and passes the test. Similarly, microphone is working. Ear speaker test also got passed with the sound. Flashlight is also working as you already seen in the camera. Multitouch is also working with the multiple finger test. Display is fully working without any dead zone as you can see on the screen. Let's check the CPU stability using the CPU throttle application. So before running the CPU throttle, I can check the CPU temperature and it's at the same position before doing the Geekbench test. Like 47 to 55 degrees Celsius temperature for the CPU and 41 degrees Celsius for the battery. I done this test for the 5 minutes and the results are awesome. CPU throttling percentage was 90%. Though the CPU temperature risen, device not degraded its performance via CPU throttling. As this device uses the liquid cooling technology, it's maintaining the CPU temperature very good. Still the temperature of the device is rising and you will feel some hotness nearby the camera area of the device when you do the heavy task. So overall ROM is pretty stable but there are some minor bugs. If you are using NFC a lot then you will did not like this ROM as the NFC is broken in the ROM. Hey Google voice activation not working even I updated the app and retained the voice. But the swipe gestures are working to activate the Google Assistant. You can use the Magix module given in a right side card video to activate the voice assisted Google Assistant. Light sensor is working in the ROM. Adaptive brightness is also working but sometimes it's very high and very low immediately when you switch between the low light and the high light area. But that is not so big issue. I didn't test the battery fully but one thing I noticed that while testing the Gcam, I used it for the 8 minutes and it's drained the battery to the 30%. Which seems very high, still I will create the full battery test with the gaming performance soon. 
that time I can confirm this is the issue or not. I didn't test at the game but I will test it with the gaming mode in the another video. As the ROM is on Android 12.1, we guess the older Android 12 features and some extra Pixel Experience Plus feature that I discussed in the another video of Phone Plus 6, you can check that from the right side card. That video has all the points discussed regarding the customizations. So what is my final verdict? If you can bear these bugs for the NFC, non-working camera features, adapt to brightness, Google Assistant, this will be the perfect companion for the daily use. But if it's still breaking for you, then wait for one more build by the developer, they will fix them soon. Or wait for my Lineage OS 19.1 video which is coming soon. That's it all about the first custom ROM for the OnePlus 9 RT. If you like my work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content for the 9 RT. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.